Hello viewers, in this video I am going to show you how to create a quiz by using Google form. For this purpose, open your browser and type google.com. In Google search window, type Google forms. Here you can see this first option Google forms free online surveys for personal use. Click on this Google Forms option. Now you can see home page of Google Forms. By using these Google Forms, I am going to show you how we can create quiz. For this purpose, here in this personal message, click on this go to Google Forms. Now it is asking us to sign in with our Gmail account. So you need to sign in with your appropriate Gmail account that is you can sign in by using that Gmail account on which you want to create your Google quiz. After signing in we can start designing our quiz in the form of Google form. Here you can see untitled form is there so I will just click here and I can give title to our quiz. So title is e-content quiz. If you want to give description here under form description option, we can give description about quiz also. So I have given simple description. Now here before proceeding with questions we need to make this Google form as a quiz. So for this purpose here you can see this setting button. Click on this setting button. Here general presentation and last option is quizzes. So click on quizzes. Here you can see make this a quiz. So this is off. I will make this option on. Now you can see our Google form is in the form of quiz. Here quiz options are there. Release marks. Here you can select settings for your quiz. We can release marks immediately after its submission or if we don't want to release immediately we can select later option. So it is individual's choice. Again here respondent can see these are the default settings so whenever respondent submit their quiz they can see missed questions correct answer and point values so it is also individuals option to select or not so currently i will not select this option and this option now i will click on this save button now here you can see our Google form is now in the form of Google quiz. Now we can start adding question. So here I am adding first question which is a true or false question or which is a multiple choice question. So I will write, type here question OBS is a is an open source software here you can see and i will give option true and false since it is a quiz we need to give the answer key to our google form so here you can see answer key option is there so i will click on answer key here i need to select the correct answer so the correct answer for our question that is OBS is an open source software so correct answer is true so I will select here true and here in points I will give two points you can give points as per your individual choice so now I have given the answer and points now I will click simply here on done now I want this question to be answered compulsorily by students so here you can see required option is there so i will click on 
required now to add another question here you can see add question option in the form of plus sign so click on this plus sign and you can type here your second question so here i will type second question we can create powerpoint presentation by using which of the following again it is a multiple choice question so i will type options ms word adobe reader ms ppt and ms excel again i need to give correct answer so i will click on answer key the correct option is ms ppt so i will select correct option and i will give points now i will click on done option again if i want this compulsorily i can click here on required option to add third question again i will click here if you want to change your question type then here you can see current question type is multiple choice and you can click on this box to select different types of question to add in our quiz suppose i want short answer or paragraph check boxes so i can select any type of question from this box now suppose i want check boxes question so here i i have selected check boxes now i can type my third question which of the following is used to prepare mind maps again i can give option mind master ms excel mindomo none of the above again i can give answer key so i will click on answer key in this case two answers are correct so i will select two answers and i will give four points to the question so in this way you can design your quiz of limited questions of unlimited questions as well as unlimited marks after designing your quiz you need to give some settings to your quiz so here customize theme option is there you can click on this option the default color is blue here you can see the color of theme is changing so you can select color of your choice so i will select this color again you can scroll down from here and here you can see font style option is there so i will click here and i can change the font style also you can see font style is getting changed so it is individual's choice otherwise we can keep our font as a default and it is known as basic now if you want to have a preview of this quiz here preview button is there click on this preview button and you can see your preview of your quiz again i will close this here click on this setting button here in general settings you can give settings that is you can click here limit to one response it means one student can give answer to your quiz at one time only again respondents can edit after submit and can see summary charts so this is again individuals choice so here i will make this option on and i will click on save again i will go to settings here in presentation settings i can click on show progress bar it means students will get progress about their quiz completion again if i want to shuffle questions i can click in this option and the questions will get shuffled if i want to give confirmation message after quiz submission i can give confirmation message also by typing here
so thanks a lot for taking the quiz your marks will be released soon so this is how we can give confirmation message again i will click on save option here again third setting is there with regards to quizzes so here we did this setting at the initial phase of designing our google forms again if i want students to know the point values i can click here otherwise i can release scores after finishing of my quiz also again i can click on this correct of op answer options so that's after submitting quiz students will know correct answers as well as wrong answers so this is also individuals choice now i will click on this save option now i have prepared my quiz with 8 points now i can send or share this quiz to my students here you can see this send button is there so simply click on this send button now here it is showing option send via email and attachment also we can send via social media such as facebook twitter and whatsapp also so if i want to send this quiz or quiz link to email address then i can type here email addresses of students again if i want to share the link here you can see link option is there and this is the link so i will simply click on copy and i can share this link to students email or social media again here shorten url option is there suppose i want this url to be shortened i will simply click here on this shorten url button you can see my url is now shortened if i don't want this i will not click in this box so now you can see i have created my quiz and i am going to copy the link now i will show you how we can analyze responses received from students now suppose that we have given this link to students and students have filled their responses so here i will fill response on behalf of myself so that you can know analysis of results so here i will type my email address now students after typing email address will start giving their answer so suppose this is the correct answer i think then i will go to second here i am purposely selecting wrong answer here third option now i have finished with my quiz so i will click on this submit button now you can see message is there and view accuracy option is there so if i can click on this option you can see correct answers as well as wrong answers have been shown so this is how students will give their quiz once students submitted their quiz again you need to open your google form and here you can see responses and one response is there so click on this responses option here you can see currently our quiz is accepting responses if we have finished with quiz then from this button we can select not accepting responses it means after clicking on this not accepting responses if students get link they won't be able to give our quiz so this is the important future of accepting and non accepting responses here you can scroll down and you can see your results in the form of graphical summary again here summary option is there questions are there so here you can see your results question wise and individual results are also there so now only one student have given quiz so only one result is there if more students have given quiz then here you will see the number of students again here you have option of print responses if you want to print your responses 
you can click on the printer button and your responses will be ready for printing if you want to download excel sheet of your responses here you can see this green button is there it is spreadsheet so click on this spreadsheet it is asking create a new spreadsheet and click on this create button now it is linking and creating our excel sheet here you can see our responses are there in the form of google spreadsheet if more than one responses are there then they will be listed here in the alphabetical order now if i want to download this i can click on the file option and there download button will be available so here i will click on this file option you can see download button is there and here i will click or i can download in the form of microsoft excel open document pdf html csv and table separated value so these are the options available for download so i want pdf so i will click here and my pdf will be ready here you can see my pdf is available if i want to make the cop i want i can click here on cancel button again i can go to file if i want excel sheet so i can select microsoft excel also so this is how you can analyze and download your results from the spreadsheet here you can see my excel sheet has been downloaded so when you think that your quiz has been finished you can click on this option and you can switch off the accepting responses option so this is all about creating and designing of google quiz thank you